Early voting now underway in Knox County. When the election is over in August, though, getting new officials and their staff ready for the job will come at a cost to taxpayers. Yeah, we go now to WBIR tenures reporter Jim Matheny to explain the big expense. Jim? Hey, uh, Robin and Brandon. Well, the Knox County Finance Director wants the commission to budget $400,000 for transition costs for those new officials. So we wanted to know exactly what is that money for? Knox County will have plenty of new names after the August election. New mayor, new sheriff, and three other major positions. Knox County Finance Director Chris Caldwell wants to set aside nearly half a million dollars for those transitions. But why does it cost so much? All five offices will have a closeout audit. The majority of the cost will be in closeout audits and personnel. Audits are expensive and personnel entails a couple of things. One is letting whoever wins the office have a few staff members start early so they can learn the ropes before taking over. To transition into their role before September gets here to get them set up so they hit the ground running. And when new officials bring in some of their own people, the ones who go out are still owed money. If you have people that have vacation time built up, people that are retiring, you want to be able to go ahead and pay the, the money that, that they're going to get. That way you can clear the books on that individual and get more people hired into those positions. Then there's new names on letterhead, business cards, plaques, and so on. Now that Sheriff J.J. Jones is leaving office, his name will have to come off of vehicles. And Sheriff-elect Tom Spangler, who's running unopposed, says he has no plans of making the vehicles a personal business card on wheels. I'm not going to put the name on there. I think everybody will know who I am. And, you know, that's just a cost that, for me, it's just a personal thing. It's nothing to say that's wrong for anybody else to do it. It's just my personal way of doing it. And any way that we can save, we'll do it. Just because it's budgeted doesn't mean it has to be spent. If there are monies that are left over that, that go unspent, it just rolls into the general fund. And the finance director gave the example that, you know, one longtime employee might have more than $30,000 of unused vacation and sick time, depending on how long they've been working there. So you get a few like that and it can add up quickly. Robin and Brandon. Yeah, that it can. Jim, thank you very much for that.